Good evening, bull pups, and welcome to our last session online for a while. This is called Music as Science, and I thought we'd talk a little bit today about the science of sound, since that's what music is all about, correct? Well, we're all really good at making sound, but exactly what is it, and exactly how is it made? We'll talk a little bit about it, and I think you'll probably remember a lot of the things that we've actually discussed in the classroom before. So we know that sound is a mechanical wave. Sound is produced by objects that are vibrating. When we sing, our vocal folds, or some people call them vocal cords, they're actually little folds of tissue, they vibrate together. So we go, When my voice wiggles back and forth, that is called a vibrato. You hear the part of the word vibrate? Sound is all about vibration. It is a wave that travels from the object that is vibrating to a receptor. So how many things can we think of that make sound? The source of our sound when we're singing is our vocal folds. If I play the ukulele, the source of the sound is that string vibrating. When the sound goes away, when I put my hand against the string, it's because I have stopped the vibration. Listen again. Just the vibration stops sound is a vibration. This little object is called a tuning fork. Now this is a fancy schmancy way of giving a choir their pitch or a singer their pitch without having to use a piano. This is tuned to the A above middle C. Now what I do is I just hit it on my hand and if I put it up to my ear I can hear the A supposed to be able to find other notes off of that. But this little metal is displacing the air. That's what sound does. It needs what we call a medium to travel through and that medium is usually air. Okay, so tuning fork vibrates where? Our receptors of hearing, we all know this, it's called our ear. Sound waves travel in through the auditory canal and they hit and vibrate a membrane called the eardrum. The eardrum wiggles. It vibrates when it hears, when it has those vibrations hit it. And then our brain translates that sound and we know what we're hearing. We're amazing objects. Okay, but sound is all about vibrations. Okay, so we have the source of our sound for our purposes. Our source of our sound is going to be our vocal cords. So when we sing, we take in the air. I can prove to you that sound is a vibration. When you just take a breath in and release it out without making sound, you can't feel your lips vibrate. Do that a couple of times. Just take a deep breath. can hear a little of the air rushing through there, but it's not really a sound. When we make sound, you can feel your lips vibrate, your chin, your teeth. Take the pitch up again and do it again. My source is my vocal folds with air going through them. My receptor is my ear. The vibrations travel in, hit against my eardrum, and vibrate it. And then my brain translates those sounds. So, just a couple of ways you can tell what sound is, how it travels. It has to travel through something, and, and air is something that it can travel through. 
just a couple of things. Those of you that have Mrs. Noss for science are going to be doing a fun experiment with sound as well. But when we push the air up from our bellies through our throats, the air travels through our vibrating vocal folds, comes up, vibrates our lips on the way out, <clears throat> and then travels into our ears, vibrating those eardrums. So sounds are all about vibrations. So let's go make some vibrations with our All Alone Blues for this week. <laughs> 